query problem uh, from the code. Uh, and the problem goes like this. I'll start from the top. Uh, I have a table given to me, a skill table, the player, an event date is the primary key of this table, player ID and event date. This table shows the activity of players of some game. Each row is record of a player who logged in and played a number of games, possibly zero, before logging out on some day using some device. Write an SQL query that reports the first login date for each player. The query result format is in the following example. So this is the table. So if I do select from activity, that should be what I get back. And just to test it, I do Okay, rows, activity, player one, player one, player two, player three, player three. And the result table is like this. So actually before we begin, one of the things that I like to show people is the order that things go to. I always have this saved. So just know that the order when you do SQL queries goes from here to here. So a lot of people like to start from a select and usually when an SQL query is represented select is not always the first thing so um, and I just show that to people so people can know to think about this differently when they're trying to solve SQL problems uh, so one of the first things that I want is obviously write an SQL query that reports the first login date for each player so one of the first things that I'm getting here is I want a report the first login date I want each individual player so these are things that we're thinking in our head but how do we do this obviously if SQL has a certain order how do we do this so technically select because let's say we want to select the first login date our thought process is oh hey let's select the first let's go by date but here in SQL you should probably group first so we can do select everything from activity and then let's group by player ID so what it's gonna do is gonna select pretty much the first row of each player so if player one had a million rows we'll just select the top one but we just want to distinct everything and have everything by each player so if we do this we'll have just three rows because there's only three players if it was 50 players then we would have 50 rows. So that's so that's pretty much once uh, select. So this is probably the way. Yep, there we go. So as you can see here, we have the rows. We have row for player one. Oh, actually, here row for player one, row for player two, and row for player three. So uh, and it's only going to grab, like I said the top uh, but that's not our concern now our concern is just thinking about you know what I want to report the first login date and I want each individual player in my head this is what comes first but from an SQL place usually when I read this I want to go through the group well technically the from so it's from and that's my default what is the table and then I want to group it by each individual player so once I have every individual player set, uh, so this is how my query has evolved, is for each individual player, how do I get the first login date? So then we can think about dates. So what I could say is, oh, well, let's say this player, it, so let's say the first has, let's say the first player has 50 rows. Obviously, with group by, is only going to grab the top one. But how do I grab, out of all those 50 rows, the one with the first login date? Well, SQL does have something called min and max, which gets min values, max values, and it, use, and it works with dates. So you can actually do select event date. And if you put min, it will select that min date. So I can select the min, which gives me the min date for each person. So I'm gonna group 
by player ID. And as you can see, my output is really similar to the expected result. It's giving me the date I want, the min date. But what it's different, well, obviously they want this exact table. Uh, so obviously they want the player ID, so I can just write here player ID. And what is the other difference? Well, here they want first login. So in SQL, you can always change these names. So as login, they just, instead of event date, they just want the name first login. So you can just write as first login. And then you can submit that. And it goes through. And that is the query and how my thought process uh, came to be. Um, from you know using this and and my thought process of what we think and how SQL thinks thank you